Hey guys, I'm Tyler. And I'm T-Guns, and you're about to get slam jammed by the news, you jabronis. You may or may not remember a game for the Atari 2600 called E.T. the Extraterrestrial that came out back in 1982. If not, here's a quick history lesson. It's universally accepted as the reason for the collapse of both Atari and the video game console market itself back in the 80s. And reportedly over 700,000 cartridges were buried in the New Mexico desert the next year under a seal of concrete in order to try and erase the memory of it even existing. Well, that gravesite has recently been exhumed. A couple weeks ago, a filmmaking team from Fuel Entertainment dug up the game and many were surprised to see other titles in the mass grave as well. Centipede, Phoenix, and Raiders of the Lost Ark. Xbox Entertainment has plans to release a documentary about the excursion tentatively titled Atari Game Over sometime in the next year for the 360 and Xbox One. Looks like all you PC gamers just got slam jammed by Bungie. The developers of the upcoming shooter RPG Destiny announced that despite developing the game on the PC, it will not be released on PC at launch. <laughs> What a bunch of jabronis. The lead designer Lars Backen said that launching a game on four different consoles is a first for Bungie, and adding a fifth to an already crazy amount of pressure would just be too much. Well, Lars Backen sounds like a bunch of excuses from a big whiny baby. However, he didn't rule out the possibility of a port, so to all you PC gamers, know your role and shut your mouth. Destiny is set to come out on September 9th for Xbox One, 360, PS4, and PS3. If you've ever been waiting for an update on Mass Effect 4, a very small one came out last week. In response to a fan tweet asking which side of the development spectrum the game was on, Bioware Montreal studio director Yannick Roy responded with an answer stating they were somewhere in the middle. The studio is also on track to give a full reveal sometime this year according to Bioware Edmonton general manager Aaron Flynn. So far, all we know about the game itself is that it will not feature a hero of the original trilogy, Commander Shepard, and that it is set to take place sometime after the events of the first three games. Great news to all those marks and smarks out there. The WWE Network has officially launched for the Xbox One. Now all you million dollar men out there with your fancy pants next gen consoles can enjoy the live streaming service devoted solely to the WWE. Well, it's about damn time. The PS4, PS3, and Xbox 360 are way ahead of the game. What's up, Xbox One? Too busy trying to make up for last year's E3 to keep up? The only thing that sells worse than you is Eva Marie, and at least she's a hot chick. But now that the folks behind the X-Bone got their asses in line, the WWE Network is gonna cyber stunner all you candy ass console gamers, and that's the bottom line, because T-Gun said so. Now on to what has to be one of the worst kept casting secrets in recent memory. It was confirmed last week that Harrison Ford, Carrie Fisher, and Mark Hamill will return to Star in Star Wars Episode 7, set to release next year. Last Tuesday, a post on StarWars.com appeared that included a photo of the cast doing the first table read. Other notable stars are returning Anthony Daniels, C-3PO, Peter Mayhew, Chewbacca, and Kenny Baker, R2-D2. As for the newbies, that list includes John Boyega, Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver, Oscar Isaac, Andy Serkis, Donald Gleason, and Max von Sydow. No details on the plot have emerged as of yet, but Disney CEO Bob Eager teased that it takes place three decades after Return of the Jedi. The film is set to start shooting in a couple of weeks and release on December 18th, 2015. Sad news, people. Actor Bob Hoskins from such films as Who Framed Roger Rabbit and the live-action Mario Bros. movie has died at the age of 71. And as the American dream would say, that's bad times. For over three decades, Hoskins played small and large roles alike throughout his career and covered a wide range of characters for many to see. Can't say I knew his work well, but I did know him from the Mario Bros. movie, and while this show has probably had more than its share of laughs at the expense of the film, I loved it when I was a child. And that love and Hoskins' death reminds me of what the recently deceased warrior said before he passed. Every man's heart one day beats its final beat. His lungs breathe their final breath, and if what that man did in his life makes the blood pulse through the body of others and makes them believe deeper in something that's larger than life, then his presence, his spirit, will be immortalized by the storytellers, by the loyalty, by the memory of those who honor him, and make the running that man did live forever. So here's to Bob Hoskins, who in good roles or bad roles made us all, at one time or another, believe in something larger than life. And that's your industry news, Jabronis. Let's get back to the gameplay. Shut up. I don't want to hear what you have to say.